I can't wait to have a baby. Well, I know what you mean. You do? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I just didn't think someone like you would be all that interested in having children. You're so obsessed with your career and all. I'm not obsessed. Just because I work doesn't mean I wouldn't want to have kids. Well, having them and caring for them are two entirely different things. I mean, having children is a full-time job. For some people. Yes, for those who take the responsibility seriously. Don't just have children to gratify their overweening egos. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on here? Lower your voice. No, I won't. I want to know what's eating you. You've been a total bitch ever since you've come to New York. I could say the same thing about you. I'm simply reacting to how you've been. For God's sake, Cece. Don't you get it? We have nothing in common anymore. How was the best of friends? What's happened to us? You just have to get over and accept it. We've fallen apart. You're wrong. We haven't fallen apart. You're falling apart. I don't think I want to pursue this. So long, Cece. Take care. Oh, no, you don't. You don't get off that easy, you stuck-up little witch. When your father died, he took the very best of you with him, my friend. You tried to be an interesting person for a while, but at the first sign of trouble, you reverted back to type. You're nothing more than a tight-ass, stuck-up, small-minded little snob these days. How would a pretentious little climber like you know that? Experience. And I know what's been eating you. Plain, old-fashioned jealousy. Jealousy? Of what? Your raw ambition? Your new money? Your marriage convenience? My what? Every time John looks at me, you fall apart the seams. What's the problem? Afraid he doesn't love you anymore? Afraid you got him by default? Maybe I am. But at least I belong to myself. Which is so much more than I can say for you. I'm living the life we wanted to live, remember? Free at last, free at last. I'm living the life you want to live but don't have the courage for. So don't tell me you're not jealous. You're so jealous you can hardly breathe. 